Hi, everybody. I see so many like familiar faces and new faces and lots of young people. So that's really awesome. Um, we're going to basically learn how to pick up choreography quickly. Now, um, you know, I think picking up choreography is something that takes a while, lots of practice, but I think there are tools that can help us sort of figure out this a little bit faster and use these tools in audition processes and also just in day-to-day -day life in when you're struggling to get something. Like for me, all these tools work really well with harmonies because oh boy, oh boy. So anything that we learn today can be applied, I think, to lots of different learning opportunities, but we're going to start specifically about choreography. So we're going to do a short little warm-up, then we're groovy combo uh, with lots of details in it but it is not no batmas no turns no jet drops nothing for you for you way in your body so you can even learn this choreography in your chair if you just want to learn the arms so if you're like wow i did not sleep last night then just do it in your chair or just learn it for your brain and see if you can do it later whatever works for you just try to learn it use your mind a little bit all right we're going to start with a little bit of warm-up so I'm gonna put some music on. I tested it out, but if it if I lose, if you lose me, I'm very sorry. Okay, so back up a little bit. Stand in a nice wide second position. We want to make sure our legs are parallel, meaning our toes are facing forward. Check in with your hips. Sometimes we tend to sit off. We want you to lay those hips right between the legs. Now you've got this little abdominal wall. Pull up that abdominal wall. Drop the tailbone down. Roll the shoulders back, palms open. Take a second to just feel yourself. Close your eyes, take a deep breath in. And then let it out. And if you live alone, maybe you can scream. Maybe you need that. Inhale. And let it out. Good. One more inhale. On the exhale, collect the arms on the bottom. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, release. Inhale, last one reaches up really tall. Pull out of your shoulders, out of your waist, and collapse down. Good. Hands maybe touch the floor, maybe they touch your shin. Shift side to side. Flexibility doesn't matter, yeah? Just get your body going. I've been thinking about you since I. Good. Nice deep plie. We go down for one. Two, three, four, we straighten up. Two, three, four, again, we down. Three, four, straighten up. Two, three, little bend in the knees, roll up. Two, three, four. Last thing is the head, arms reach out side to second, side to side shift, side, side. Good, the hips are moving with you, so try to isolate the rib cage. Good. Really get those obliques going. Reach up and over to the left. Up and over. Good. Right arm crosses across. Open out. Reach it out long. Good. Aim for that flat back. Lengthen out of the fingers. Good. Contract plie. Roll up. Maybe find a little cobra or just a big heart opener. Maybe flex the palms. And release over the leg. Bend. Good, 
keep it going. Right foot lifts if you want. Good. And lower down. You're like, why did I show up? This is awful. Left knee up or left heel up. Good. Keep it going. All right. We're going to hold down. Both heels down. Open up the arms a second. Breathe. Take a deep breath in. Big breath out. Good. Inhale. Reach up. Turn the toes in. Oh, and stretch it over. You do. You do, baby. Good. Very gently walk over to the right. Find that right lunge. Good, can check the chat here. Maybe you can't hear me. Oh no, perfect. Great. Right lunge, send that left leg back. If you're mirroring me or if you're with me, just lunge. Yeah, doesn't matter which leg, we'll do both sides. Rock forward or back. Good. Now if you're collapsing here, pull up your abs, press into your feet, almost like you could expand yourself off the floor. Good, slide that back foot in. Stretch the front leg, maybe flex the front toes, maybe bend the back knee. And straighten the back leg, set the toes down, enjoy a little stretch. And slide that back leg back. Palm is gonna plant, twist towards the bent knee. Set the back knee down, reach back very gently. Maybe grab a hold of the toe. Hold good if you can't reach. Pulse the heel in. That's gonna build that hamstring strength. Good, reach it back, tuck the toes, reach up. And walk it back through center. Good, and other side, lunge it out. Rock forward and back. What we're opening up here in this lunge is the front of the hip or the psoas muscle. Your psoas muscle runs along your body kind of like a harness or diaper. So you wanna get all the way into that hip flexor so that you can release that psoas. Good, straighten the back leg, slide it in. Maybe bend the back knee, flex the front foot. Then check in, do you have a lot of jaw tension? Are you holding on to something? Shake it out. Good, straighten the back leg, set the toes down, lunge it back out. Good, set that back, oh sorry, twist it out. Turn towards the bend knee. Good, back knee down. If you can't grab it, just reach for it. Pulse. Good. Release it. Tuck. And walk it back. Good. Bend the knees for four. Three, two, one. Roll up. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Eight. Good. Heel toe the feet together. Bring them parallel. Take your hands to your heart. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Big breath out. Good. Inhale. Reach the arms up. On your exhale, you're going to take your opposite hand and opposite knee together. And then set them back down. Good. Other side. Good. Set it down. And uh, here we go. One more time. Slow. And here we go. Double time. We go. Hit. 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 Good. Four more. Three, two, one. And breathe up. And stretch it over. Good. Bend the knees. If you want to lift the heels, come into a ball squat. Stretch out the Achilles. You can do that. Every day, every day is head roll day. All the way around. I think head roll is my favorite dance move. One more time to the right. Oh, and then left side, take it around. Oh, good, one more time. And breathe the arms up, maybe touch the palms together. Exhale, take the hands to the heart. Maybe tuck the chin slightly. I want you to 
before you come into this, just think to yourself, why did I come here, right? This is very yogic, but I think it really works is what's your intention for being here? And then don't judge the intention at all. Whatever it is, is okay. You are enough, your dancing is enough, your energy is enough. Wherever you are at today is enough. Take a deep breath in and a nice big breath out. Good. We feel warm? Yeah? Coolios, Julia's. What's Bajulia's? I wish it was a cracker. Okay, so we are going to learn this little fun ditty, cracker, the cracker, this little fun ditty dance. Um, it's very detailed, but again, like I said, if you're just joining, not technical. So well, it's technical in weight shifts, but not technical, like we're not gonna give you like, you know, for the gods. So we're gonna learn it, and I'm gonna try to teach it to you in 10 minutes. And I want you to keep saying to yourself, I'm enough. My dancing is enough. Why I came here is enough. I am enough while you're learning it. So if you ever come up with something where you feel like you hit that wall, I want you to just say that sentence. I'm enough. My dancing is enough. Why I came here is enough. Yeah. All right, let's go for it. So we're going to start. It's all very syncopated. So really try to pay attention to the counts. Yeah. So we go. And one, the head comes up. Yeah. And one. Your, mm, sorry, one more thing. I'm gonna do it with my right hand. I'm gonna say right. So use your right hand. If that's too much for you, just mirror it. It works on the left or I'll mirror it for you a little bit later, yeah? So right hand is gonna go first, but it'll look like my left, if that makes sense. So I'm mirrored, the computer screen mirrors. So we go, and one, your left foot's gonna slide out and two. Okay, thanks, Christina. <laughs> Here we go. And one, and two. You're gonna grab your wrist, and three. Your feet step, and four. Yeah, you're gonna sit back in your heels, and five. Yeah, so you're grabbing your wrist, you're popping the hand at the same time, you rock back on the heels. So from the top, it goes, and one, circle the right hand and two, grab the wrist, and three, step, and four, and five, then you're gonna be like, what up? Six, you're gonna pull the hands up, seven, and then you get to groove twice, and eight. And that can kind of be like whatever you want, just like, you know, feel like you're at the, you're at the dance club, you're at prom, wherever you are, yeah, just feel funky. So, you go and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven eight one yeah okay moving on eight one you're gonna go right left and two so your right foot's gonna step behind you and two just a little ball change so you're in a nice stance, hips are sort of facing the corner. So you get seven, eight, one, and now when you step that left foot down, the hands are gonna come back up, two. You're gonna spring yourself through like a big tight little bodysuit, boom. So that's two, three, four, five. Your right arm's gonna go out six, left arm's gonna go out seven, hands are gonna come together eight, you're gonna flip them down. Yeah, so they go from fists to a flat platter. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Yeah, so again, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, I don't really know the counts on that. Let's be real honest about that. I just said five different things. But the movements go one, two, three, flip. From this flip, you're gonna press like you're drawing like a little window pane, you're gonna go boom, Boom, and that right leg is gonna slide in. So boom, boom. Cool, let's do that from the top. So we go. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, four, five, six, 
and seven and eight and. Oh, I figured it out. Six and seven and eight and. Yeah? Moving on. Now, you're starting to get frustrated. Say your mantra. I cannot speak for it enough. Yeah, say that mantra. Seven and eight. So we're up here. You're gonna tiptoe. She says tiptoe. You're gonna go tiptoe. Yeah? Your right arm's gonna go. Your left arm's gonna go. You're gonna fall forward like you're falling off a cliff. Yeah? And make sure it's not too dramatic, right? But you wanna stay tight in the arms. Fall off that cliff, lift up. Oh, and then you get a little break. You're just gonna put your hand on your heart and be apologetic. Okay, so one more time from that. So we came here, seven, eight. We're gonna tiptoe, tiptoe, right, left, fall, and up. Hand on the heart, apologetic. Yeah, so, okay. Now let's just take that chunk. So if we just think one, two, three, four, we're never gonna learn it. So what you have to do in terms of storytelling and in terms of how you're learning it is learn it like a big piece, right? So you have to create the A to B transition. So if this is A, if I just think, okay, B, well, that's not gonna give me enough of a mind patterning to understand that. So I'm going and one, oh, sorry, and two, I'm thinking about how this hand is coming to this wrist and I'm like excited about it. I'm like, ooh, and then here I'm like watching my hand go and then I'm watching it release, right? So I'm paying attention to what my body is doing at every single second. So there's no loss of transition. And that way we create this sort of ability to make everything read like a song, right? Like if you do lyrics in a song, it's better to read it full, right? You wouldn't just read a sentence and then go to the audition, right? So same thing, think about how you can stream this together in your mind. So we go, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, Eight. Moving on. We're apologetic. We're like, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, apologetic. Then you're gonna go shrug, like, I don't know what you want me to do about it. And one. Then your hands are gonna cross. And two. He says, uh oh. Hands are gonna come down. Three. Then you're gonna feel your right hand and left hand come together. Your right hand's gonna pull away like an arrow, and then you're gonna step your feet together as you bring your feet and your arms back together. So that is, do, 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 tip toe. Here, you go one and two and three and your left foot's gonna go four, your right foot's gonna go five, your left foot's gonna go six. And you're gonna bring this hand down like you're telling the time. He says, late, yeah. There you go, clock. So that section. Um, also, these moves were made up by Eric Schroeder. If you know Eric Schroeder. Uh, he is not a uh, dancer, he's a mover. So there you go. Okay, so we go. Uh, oh, down, away, together. Ba, 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 look. Then you're gonna look forward, and then you just do two little head nods. Uh, uh. That's it, yeah? From the top, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and one is your shrug. And two, three, and four, E, and five. So as you bring the legs together, that's when your feet go ba ba ba. Yeah. You'll hear it in the music. It's a little like ba 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 ba. Do, 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 do. Good. 
And then you look at your clock, you look forward, you hit it, boom, boom. Good, that's part one. <laughs> Everyone's like, that's part one. Okay, one more time. Six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight, one, and body suit, three, four, five, six, and seven, flip, eight, one, tip, toe, and arm, fall off the cliff, oh, I'm apologetic, and one, and two, and three, and four, E, and five, six, yeah, buddy, cool, great, let's hear that, yeah? Okay, so it's a real funky song. I don't know how it will work with the lag, so I'll give you the song later so you can practice after. But let's try it. So it starts, oh yeah, I know is your and two. So your roll up is, oh yeah, I know. Here we go. How'd you do? <laughs> yeah? Okay, great. Let's try it one more time. Questions? Questions? I can find you maybe. Raise your hand. You want to do it again, Christine? One more time? Cool. Okay, now I went to this class once. Oh, can I clarify the legs on tiptoe? Absolutely, I can do that. Is that a real accent? No one knows. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> my boyfriend's laughing at me. Okay, here we go. So we came here. So you went and eight, tiptoe. You're going to step forward right and left. And I'm on a high little four starch releve. Yeah. Bum, bum. Kind of like there's a um, tightrope. Yeah. Real literal. Sorry about that. But there's a tightrope and you're just going to go yikes, yikes. And then you're like, oh, I'm losing my balance like a slack rope. And then you're like, oh, oh. I collected it. I'm Simone Biles. Thank you so much. Yeah. So find that. So you go from there one more time. So you just went, let's connect it. So this is something I think that happens in auditions. They'll like show something, right? And then you'll go, all right, can you show that? And then you show that one part and then you practice that one part that you don't practice before or after. And then you really nail that part, but you have no idea what comes before or after. Yeah, that's like the one move you're like, yes. And then you like look around and like, that's the moment. So let's connect it. So the moment before that, we, yeah, so we put on our bodysuit. So two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight, and one, two, and three, and four, and five, six, thank you, I'll take my medal. Yeah? Perfect. Is there any other questions? Okay, great. Let's try it again. Now, here's something that I do in auditions that I think is really helpful. Do it one time standing still, just listening. Don't move your body at all. See if you can, in your mind, imagine yourself doing it and really picture what it is. Just see where you're at because when you close your eyes and you take away the stimulus, you might find the parts that you don't really know, right? So just do it one time eyes closed, don't move, put your hands down next to you and see how much you've absorbed so far. So 
go <laughs> with the eyes closed. I literally did the first move in my head and then forgot the whole thing. So there you go, right? It's just relative, but it really is that moment of focus. Yeah. So let's try it now doing it and see if you can just chill. Like your eyes were closed and like you were relaxing, real relaxed. Here we go. Let's see, I think I have a question. Oh, yes, thanks, Leslie. Um, okay, let's move on. Let's just do it. So far, by the way, you've learned that in 12 minutes. Yeah, so round of applause for yourself. Always, yeah, even if you're frustrated, just give yourself a round of applause. Nothing comes, nothing good comes from beating yourself up. Nothing, yeah, it's just not worth it. So give yourself a round of applause and let's go on. This is my, this is my favorite part, just kidding. Okay, so he sings. Put it in my pocket, put it in my pocket, put it in my back pocket, put it in my pocket, in my back pocket. Oh, oh, oh. I'm Lynn Wilma Miranda, just so you know. That's me. Hamilton, here I come. Okay, so you just, you just were here, you're looking at your clock, and this, I kind of, sometimes I go head to head, and then sometimes my hips have a mind of their own, and they really want to groove, so that can be your own moment. So you can look forward, boom, boom. Your right hand, your right fist is gonna come to your right shoulder. It's gonna hit and then come out like a point. Like I got you, yeah? So, and then with that, you're gonna shift onto your right foot. Yeah, then you're gonna shift back. Your hand's gonna come to your pocket, hit it twice. Yeah, so we go six, seven, eight, and one. Put it in my pocket. Right leg's gonna run to jam, put it in. You're gonna turn to the up corner. Hips are facing the corner. In my, so sorry. Put it in my pocket, put it in my pocket, put it in my back pocket. So your finger is here and it's pointing to your booty and you're going back pocket. Like you're showing them like you can put it right here. Yeah? So we go, we looked at the clock, we look forward. You go, and one, put it in my pocket. Right leg's gonna rond de jambe. Your watch becomes your point and you point two times down, yeah? From there, your hands are a superhero. You're gonna twist towards your left leg. Then you're gonna twist to the back and then the feet are gonna jump together. So it's put it in your pocket Put it in your pocket, in your back pocket. Put it in your pocket. Then you're gonna step left, right under yourself, and then right forward. So I went left, right. Yeah. Left, right. When your right foot steps, your hands are gonna slide behind you and you're gonna hit your back pockets three times. One, two, three. Woo, here we go. We go. And one, put it in your pocket, put it in your pocket, in your back pocket, put it in your pocket, in your back pocket. So think your pockets, you know, when they're sewn shut. So think about that. So it's like, uh, uh, yeah, so you have like the, the seam on the pockets. So you're going one, Two is a little deeper, and then three is when you get to put your hands. Imagine your pockets are filled with, um, I don't know, something soft. I was gonna say honey, but that would be kind of a mess, so maybe not honey. So your right foot slightly forward. One, two, three. Good. From there, your right foot, you're gonna do a little weight shifty. So your right foot's gonna step, your hands are gonna come to your fists. It's gonna step again, your hands are gonna come to your ribs or your breasts. And then the last one is going to come all the way up. So it's on the O, O, O. So you put it in your back pocket. 
O, O, O. Yeah? And then the next move, because it makes sense, your arms are gonna shoot straight up and then they're gonna break down. And this is where we're gonna totally shift gears from like Hamilton hip hop to classic jazz. Why not, right? So let's just learn it. So we go, and one. You take a little breath. Then you're gonna shift onto your right foot, like very like Fred Astaire, right, left. You're gonna do a pas de bourre, right, left, right. Arms are gonna come up and over. Your left leg's gonna cut across and tendu. Good. You're gonna jump over your left leg, little flex jump. Good, perfect. Then you're gonna go up and over, down. And then step, step, together, out. Look at your booty, look at your booty. Here's the end, booty, 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 booty. Really working those hip isolations, yeah? Back pocket, gotta get the booty in there. Now, here, from the jazz again, so we just did three rolls, we're up, we're down. Here's your little breath. Get the breath, yeah? So I think what would happen here normally is you'd be like, okay, Okay, but the breath is the best part. Switch gears, take the time to switch energies, yeah? So we're here. Ah, one, two, three, and four. Good, up and over. Then I call this the, I'm the king of New York. I'm the king of New York. Boom, boom, look, look. Yeah, totally that moment, right? Yeah, just newsies, okay. Great, let's take the chorus. So let's do the eight before the chorus. So we were here, two and three and four E and five and roll or head. And one, put it in your pocket, put it in your back pocket, bump, bump, I must up the lyrics, keep, Go wing. One, two, three, and hit. My favorite part. <sighs> totally change gears. Pas de bourre. Your left leg's gonna slice across. You pop over, whoop, up and over. Right, left, together, down. Look at the booties and booty rocking. <sighs> okay, I'm never gonna sing it right, so let's listen to it. Never, never say never. That's me, see? Gotta stay positive. Never say never. All right, mark through the beginning. time back pocket part yeah okay great me too me too my brain is not what it used to be pre-quarantine yeah it's gonna take a lot to get back yeah that's why I just wanted to offer this this morning as a way to sort of wake up that brain here we go here we go Perfect. See, I made this up and I struggle. Yeah, it's just kind of dance is hard, man. Dance is the most beautiful thing in the entire world. I love dance. Like, I could not be more passionate about it. I think if I was, I would just collapse from overwhelming love. Yeah. 
So I think if we forget to lead with that, which I think often we do in auditions, is we forget to lead with that love. I think what happens is we lead with, God, I hope I get it. I hope I get it, right? So it becomes about someone else's judgment of you and someone else's opinion of you. And we lose the love for it. So I think that's when we forget the choreography, just in my opinion, because the minute that we make it about someone else, the emphasis goes from outside the body, sorry, from inside the body to outside the body. And then you're like looking at headshots and you're wondering if you're getting cut and you're telling yourself, oh, I'm not really a dancer or I am really a dancer. Why can't I pick this up? Or any of the you know myriad of things that happen in our brain. And I think just the same way as a vocal audition, it really is your time. So take that breath, right? Right before, take that breath. You don't have to improv your life away so they notice you. Trust me, if you take that breath before that and one is gonna get you noticed. That's just kind of, you know, you don't need to show off everything you have. Just breathe and collect it for yourself so it becomes about you again. And then you won't lose the combination because you'll be inside of your body experiencing it, yeah? Let's try it again and really like, the Zoom is perfect because dancing alone in this quarantine has been for me like so healing um, because so much of our lives is external. And so really take this moment for yourself, you know, shut off the camera if you want. I mean, I love seeing you, so keep them on, but you know, make it so that it is about you and not about anything else, yeah? And then the more you find that for yourself, I think the happier and the faster you'll pick things up. All right, let's do it one more time. And then I have one other little activity. Great, I messed up again, but guess what? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so um, I wanna do it one more time or a couple more times, but we're gonna do it differently. So um, when I was a kid, I had a teacher. Um, I, I'm gonna name drop only because I can't. So her name was Mandy Moore. Maybe you know her, she's incredible. That was who raised me when she was 26 and was no one, but she was everything to me. And she gave the greatest lesson. So when, maybe if you've auditioned with me, you've seen me do this, but I just stand completely still and watch. Just watch, yeah? And it's hard on Zoom, it doesn't really work. But in the studio, she would have us stand with our hands next to us and just watch her. And then she would quiz us on details. So she'd be like, which finger went first? And you would have to have picked that up. Yeah, and if you asked a question that she thought that was easy, she would just make you feel real, real dumb about it, which was funny. Yeah, like if you asked, what's that step there? She'd be like, oh, the pas de bourre? And you'd be like, great, thank you so much, yeah. So that wasn't the nicest thing, but she did it in a really loving way. So that was my first experience in turn of learning in a way that was more um, cerebral, right? Versus kinesthetic, our bodies. Um, and that's great because you have to connect. Dancers are smart. If anyone says dancers are dumb, they're just tell them that they're crazy. Yeah, dancers are brilliant. So it takes so much work to coordinate everything together. Um, so then when I've been auditioning, I've done a lot of Blank and Bueller stuff. Like I did In the Heights and I did all this choreography. And then I've been auditioning for Hamilton for like six years now. And every time I go, they say, mark, mark it, just mark it. And that is so hard for a dancer who's been told 100% their whole life, right? But what they're trying to do is get you to slow down enough where you can enjoy all of the details. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to mark it. 
and market meaning like everything is super crystal clear in your body. And if it's not clear, feel free to ask a question. Yeah, I think we have like 10 minutes um, to kind of just go through this. So let's mark a little bit. Oh, not 10 minutes, seven, eight minutes. I can count from two to 10, I think. Well, you've been so wonderful. Maybe we can add a couple more in there. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Let's mark it. And whatever that means to you. For me, marking it looks like I'm barely dancing because that's how far I have to go backwards in order to chill out. I'm very not chill. I'm not a chill person. I wish I was cool and chill, but that's not my life. Yeah, I feel you so much, Alex. That's not my life. Okay, here we go. Mark. Okay, for me, that was 10 times better. Was that better for anybody else? Yeah, it's real crazy. I think when we're young, we're taught go, 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 go. And so like, I was a competition kid and maybe you guys are competition kids in here as well. I love that training. I think it's amazing. It does teach you that 100% is the only percent. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes, especially in theater, think about this. What if you had to sing this song while doing this? <laughs> put it in my pocket, put it. You couldn't even probably get through it, right? So how can you Dana Salamanda, who I assist a lot, always says, economy of movement. How can you be economic about your movement so that you can accomplish the task at hand? Yeah? So let's do it again and see if this time you can pick moments to mark and pick moments to really like put you in there and go a little bigger. See if you can play with what your artistic expression is of this combination. Yeah, so then it comes out of my hands and it goes over to you a little bit. So start to take a little bit of ownership of it. Here we go. Okay, how was that? Good? Yeah, I think too for me, I didn't forget it when I took ownership of it. Um, which is just a really cool thing, right? Um, the reason why I wanted to teach this class, just to give you a break to grab some water to drink, is um, I went through a pretty bad injury. And prior to the injury, though, I got cut from the West Side Story dance call, like multiple rounds in. And the biggest thing about that call was I could not remember the choreography. I don't know what it was that day. But I wrote that off as my new mantra. And I was like, I don't pick up choreography fast anymore. I don't pick up choreography well. I don't pick up choreography well. And then that made me not pick up choreography well. Um, one of my choreographers, Christina, is in this room um, for a piece I did for her. And boy, oh boy, was that mantra really loud when I couldn't pick up choreography. So I think I. I created that script. And I think so often we create those scripts for ourselves where we go, I'm not a good harmonizer. 
or I'm not a good vocalist, or I'm not a good enough dancer. And that is the end of the line. The minute you say that, the minute you say, I'm not good at picking up choreography, that really does start to circulate in your head as the loudest thing. And so for me, that became the loudest thing. And I assist people, and I used to be known for how quick I could pick up choreography. And the only thing that changed, and I tried to figure it out for you, I was like, is it because I went vegan? Do I not have the protein powder anymore? Like, do I need to eat more protein? Do I need to drink more coffee? Do I need to take more classes? But all of that meant nothing if I couldn't just love myself enough to claim my ownership of who I was and stop questioning what everyone else wanted me to be. And so I really implore you from this like year long journey that I went on of being crazy injured and crazy depressed, art is all about you. And if you don't bring yourself to the table, nothing will ever get better. It just is kind of the way we don't need to see another, you know, Ben Platt. He's already, exi he already exists, yeah? I wanna see the next you. So, if you really like start telling yourself, I'm great at picking up choreography and you will change. It just is that easy. So let's do it two more times. And I want you to really just believe in yourself. This wasn't supposed to be a therapy session, but I think it is in there. I think dance is therapy, right? So let's do it. And I want you to just really dance like some of you are 12, but if you're older than 12, dance like you're 12 again and that feeling of freedom. Yeah, so just do it a couple more times. I'm just gonna run the music over and over and you can mark it, you can sit down, you can just sit and listen to it. Just have a moment for yourself, that moment in the audition where you just get to be with you um, to just sort of figure out what you want. Here we go. Back pocket, baby. Gigi, any questions for me? Yeah, any questions? If you have a question, just unmute yourself. Anybody? No questions? Okay, well, um, I think that's great. And um, when you are dancing, just from like an assistant choreographer perspective, um, the more that you can take that moment to slow down, right? You always talk about it in vocal things, but that breath before, that's the same thing. So in auditions, when you go into that audition and there's so much going on at dance calls, there's 50 other girls or guys to compare yourself to. There's your shoes, whatever shoes you're wearing, how slippery the floor is, how many headshots are in the pile, um, you know, do they like you? Do you know the choreographer? How many people wanted to say hi to you? In dance calls, there's like so much to take in. 
So something that I've been doing since being really injured, and this is the last thing, the tip, the last tip that I'll give you is we always warm up our bodies, but we rarely warm up our artistry. So have a dance party in your car or outside with your headphones on because I found that when I warm up my artistry, when I warm up my heart, when I warm up what I have to give, it changes the whole experience. And I don't pay so much attention to what others are doing. Um, so it's Natalie underscore Rose zero. If you ever want to reach out to me or message me, I'm super open to talking, talking on the phone, talking through whatever you're going through. My whole life stopped last year when I got three major injuries. So life does continue after this. It just doesn't feel like it when it's in the moment. And I lost so many jobs last year when I was injured. Um, and it was really, really tough. So it's just, this is good practice for the rest of life and how often this industry will take things away from you and give them back to you over and over, and over again. So um, if you want to find me also, if you want recommendations on classes to take, because the best way to get better at whatever you're doing is to take class. So really take class from 3D. I've learned so much from going to the producer sessions, from going to the amazing Leslie Stevens class. I think she left, but she's incredible. You guys, Les, like you have right? to- Right? Oh my gosh. Is my, she's my rock so often and just the most incredible teacher and educator and artist. So like take Leslie Stevens, take Alexis, take all of these opportunities to dance. If you want to get better at dance, the best thing to do is to continue to learn. I see you there, Leslie. I've just unmuted you. <laughs> thank you so much for this. And thank you, Natalie, for um, because this, this struggle is fresh in your mind. Some of the, the really specific tools you've been using were really fresh in your awareness. And that made you able to express them so like clearly, like in a really usable, articulatable way. And see, that's it's not fun, but that's a real blessing because you're such a smart analyzer, but also from having gone through it and being able to capture some of the experience and some of the problem solving in that way. So thank you so much for that, right? Because you, you're really bringing gifts from the recent problem solving. Thank you. So much. Right. Well, listen, all of us at 3D, um, you know, we're doing this because we feel passionately, you know, life is may not going to be what we used to know. We don't know. Our crystal ball is in the shop, so we really don't know. But we want to make sure that the people we love, our family, our, our community, and reaching beyond, you, you can learn some new things and feel good and have these classes and be empowered for when we all go back to life, because we will. And when we go back together and we gather, you've got some tools now that maybe you didn't have before to really go out there and just make it the best life and best uh, life with your family, friends, your, your career, what you feel spiritually. If, if we've helped in any way, that's been worth it. So I just need to wrap it up. But on behalf of all of my team at 3D Theatricals, thank you so much. Please share what we're doing on your uh, social media outlets. We post our schedules uh, for our Monday through Friday classes every day on our website, Facebook, Instagram, and eBlast. We would love for you to share it all so we could get more people into the fold. Thank you, everybody. Class is dismissed. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.